Hi guys, today we're gonna take a look at the results of my several weeks uh, try to print something on Tico 3D printer. So um, I'm gonna show you um, some results of my prints. This is the latest software as of February 7th. Uh, and um, this is this printer doesn't have any modification, this is as is. So what I have here, so I have sev several failed prints. Um, so mostly because these kind of failed prints, mostly because of the uh, alignment. So I think the biggest problem as of for me right now, or for this particular printer, maybe other printers are better. This is pretty bad um, alignment of the head uh, towards bad. So um, I think this is majority of problems uh, because if model comes off during the print, uh, it's not gonna like it's not gonna stick and it'll be like big big mess. So for example, this one is as you see, it's not straight. So it's uh, it's actually came off of the printing bed and it looked like super ugly and I stopped the print mid print. Okay, so this one is actually printed something that was a little a box I printed, but as you notice, it looks very very crooked. All right. Here's some more prints. So this one is um, is actually de detached from the bed as well, and this was the base for this print. It was like that. So um, yeah, it didn't work out as well. So this is calibration cube. Actually, it turned out to be not too bad. Uh, and but for some stupid reason, it turned out to be smaller than the original model. It's supposed to be one inch, but somehow. It's like three quarter or something. Ah, bizarre. So far, this is the best one which works uh, with a lot of stringing, obviously. But and as you notice, I'm using black filament. Well, this is just because that I think that the original one is actually pretty bad. Uh, then, so I'm using repeatable um, a dealer for my filament and the prints are way better less stringing uh, less over uh, over extruding this filament is piece of garbage it oh, also another problem it breaks it's all very brittle in, in it's it can often break inside the Bowden tube which leads uh, which takes the filament from the container above uh, to the printing head and to or to the extruder and it breaks pretty often you can, you can just break it you can break it easily like this well i don't know that now doesn't yeah it actually breaks now it doesn't really break that easy but once i was able to actually snap it like that so no no this black one prints are very uh, much better so inside the printer i have my latest print and i want to show you how it looked like you'll be surprised All right, here's the close-up. As you can see, there's some crazy layer shift. So it finished print all the way through. It's actually the walls, they don't look that bad, nice and smooth, but some crazy layer shifting. It's just unbelievable. Look at this, it's amazing. That's supposed to be just six by six cent, six by six by six um, cube, well, box. Uh, a little container and uh, it looks look pretty bad look at this so it shifted all the way through so I have no idea why the hell it shifts like that this is the severe and the worst shift I ever seen um, so the only recommendation I saw somewhere in the forums is to lubricate the the little uh, arms which actually hold the printing hat so So 
So here's the printing head. And I used silicone grease like that. And I just take, took the, use the screwdriver and I lubricate it um, over here around those, some sort of um, bearing holders. I don't know how they, so each of those arms has a little ball which actually inserts into socket. So there are six of them. So I lubricated each of them. Also lubricated somewhat lubricated the rails. So I hope that will improve uh, um, shifting or actually eliminate shifting uh, uh, altogether because I have no idea what else can be a problem. Some people say this is the loose. It's actually it's not that loose, I, I think. It's not bad, but my other printer is as as loose, but some crazy. Maybe this is software problem. Maybe this is compensation, software compensation of some sort. I don't know, but it looks pretty bad. Pretty much unusable. Renders printer unusable. Oh, also I want to tell that the uh, automatic alignment is garbage. So once I did the automatic alignment and after that somehow it digged into my building plate and completely ruined it. It made this big scar uh, when it start, started printing and that's permanent now. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's there. Uh, so I will give it a try after I lubricated those um, sockets. We'll see how it works and uh, probably uh, we'll post another update. So this is it so far. Thank you for watching and I hope your Tico printer works better.